Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Today I want to talk to you about stand pipes and their placement in the drive pipe. The drive pipe is simply the pipe that brings water from the source down to the pump. Typically, you don't want that pipe to be longer than 100 feet. So in order to gain the drop that you need, sometimes you have to extend the drive pipe out further than 100 feet, and that's where a stand pipe comes into play. A stand pipe is going to be a pipe that sticks up to match the source water, and it essentially brings the source to wherever you put that pipe. So the pump will cycle from that stand pipe, and it'll bypass the pipe going back up to your source. However, if you're gonna be installing a stand pipe too close to the source water and there's not enough drop feeding the standpipe, the pump is going to pull the water down from the standpipe, suck in air, and the system will stop. So what you want to do is put your standpipe further away from the source in order to give enough drop to pressurize and feed that standpipe. Let me see if I can show you an example of that here in this video. The ram pump is right here. I have the majority of my drop down here close to the pump. And if I walk up here, what we will see is that there is more of a, I guess a flat area from my source bucket to, uh, let's see, where's the joint? Right here. So that little area maybe has one foot of drop versus down here with about six feet of drop. And so what I'm going to do is first, place the stand pipe right here in this little section and we will see if the ram pump pulls the water down here first and then I'll put it down here and we should see it work with no problems at all. I've got some painfully expensive clear PVC pipe that I'm going to use as my stand pipe. Normally you would just have regular PVC pipe. So what I'm going to do is take this section right here. I'm going to put a T in the line and I'm going to insert the stand pipe up here and then I'm gonna extend the rest of this drive pipe down to the pump. Now I may have to find some way of getting this pipe to stand up. Yeah, cause that's gonna to try to fall over. What a lot of people will do with their stand pipes is take some string and wire it out or tie it to some trees or even build a uh, little two by four frame to hold this up. Cause when the pump starts cycling, it can shake this around. I find that a children's electric Jeep is the best way to hold up a standpipe. If you want one of these for your own standpipe, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and turn on our water here. This will fill up the drive pipe. I have the delivery pipe primed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pump on here so you can see what it looks like when it cycles. All right, there we go. Let me show you what it looks like on the stand pipe that doesn't have enough head pressure feeding it up here. As you can see, the water in the stand pipe is dropping lower and lower. Eventually, it will suck all the way down to the bottom and will stop the pump because there is not enough pressure from this point right here up to the source. It's very shallow. Now, my stand pipe is not tall enough for this test. I'll show you what I mean here in just a moment. I've got water overflowing the stand pipe because there's uh, more pressure than there is height here. So you can see going to be overflowing, especially when I turn this pump on. I got to get some air out of here that it was just introduced, but all right, there we go. <laughs> I got the air out of the system. All right, now this drive pipe is way too short. Let 
but as you can see there is no issue with the water going back down because we've got all of this drop here coming to the standpipe and so what you would want this to do right here is to be up above the source by a foot or so but this right here would run as long as there's water going into the system I hope you found this bit of information on standpipes to be helpful. To recap, just make sure that your standpipe is close enough to the pump that you have enough drop or head pressure to feed that standpipe. Otherwise, the pump is going to pull that water down and air will get sucked in and the system will stop. Keep in mind, I have four different sizes of ram pump available on my website. Link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land the House and I will see you in the next video. Phew, the rain is hitting. Quick, get the camera out of here.